Hello and welcome to another video following the success of last week's future visioning video. I thought I would hop on screen again and share with you a tip for this week. And before I start, I'm going to also share with you a tip as regards video marketing, because as you may be aware, I've never done this before, although I do, you know, live webinars and trainings and so forth kind of hopping on screen and just talking randomly at a camera feels quite strange to me. However, I did pick up a really good tip from Kate Young. I don't know if you know Kate. She is the founder of the Safeguarding Academy. Any safeguarding questions that you have, Kate is the woman to, to go to in that field. And we were chatting during the summer and I was saying to Kate, yeah, I know the way, you know, Joe Wicks, he does all his like exercise videos and it's kind of just him and the screen. And I know people are commenting on YouTube and stuff. But it's really not the same when you can't see people's faces. And she said, Emer, here's what you need to do if you are recording a video. You just need to get a really large teddy bear and kind of prop him up um, near the screen somewhere and then address the entire video to him. And it will feel like, you know, you've got at least some kind of an audience. So unfortunately, I don't have a teddy bear today. However, what I do have in place of a teddy bear is my very um, favorite gift that I was given a very long time ago. And this is Pig Radio. And uh, Pig Radio, uh, unfortunately, doesn't really work anymore. But when he was in his full uh, strength, full flight, Pig Radio, when the radio came on, the pig would actually speak with the radio, quite a unique piece of equipment. But it's not just equipment, it has a lot of human qualities too, and as well as animal ones, obviously. I will definitely do the trick for today's video. So I'm just going to prop him up there somewhere. Okay, Piggy. Right, there, there we go. That's it. There we go. It's the pig. He's, you know, calling me on to just get on with it. Right. Today's video is uh, based on something I shared with my subscribers earlier this week. And this is the Oi, get off my plate template. And this is something that I've started to use for those really annoying little tasks that you just never get around to. I mean, they might be at the bottom of your to-do list. They might be in your fancy, uh, you know, Asana or Trello software. And you look at them every day and think, yeah, I, I still haven't gotten around to that. Oh, well, you know, they're not life or death, but they take up a lot of valuable headspace. And we all need as much headspace <laughs> as possible these days not to be stolen uh, from by these irritating tasks. So what you do is um, you have your template here with your plate. And then you simply create a post-it note for each task. So my tasks include a very kind of fiddly, irritating things like I need to do this home energy Scotland survey. You know, I'll get around to it eventually. Um, Scottish Power, I need to call them to change my electricity meter from a dual M pan to a single M pan, riveting stuff. What else have we got? Well, this is kind of quite time sensitive, really. Uh, design a Christmas card keep, you know, every evening I say, yeah, better hop on the old iPad there and do something. And I, it hasn't really happened yet. And I know, I know it's the 11th of December. I'm, I'm on it. Uh, and what else do I have? Uh, order ink. So these days I don't use as much ink as I used to. Uh, however, I still do use ink, as you can see. And uh, whilst it's not exactly urgent, there will be a day where I'll be in the middle of a session and I'll run out of ink. So I better just... Uh, Get on to that. So what you do is you get your post notes with your irritating little tasks on them, stick them on your template, you know, make it don't have this on your computer, just have print it out and uh, just have it somewhere large on the wall. You want a visual reminder in your head to see these things. And what you would like to do is just every time you do one of these tasks, is just rip it off the rip, just rip it post notes, scrunch a ball, and just throw it away. And it feels very satisfying. The best time to do this, I found, is kind of around about now before lunch, when you're kind of maybe feeling hungry, but it's like, well, will I get up and have my lunch yet? Or should I wait until one o'clock because I've got to call it two? And, you know, these kind of conversations we have in our minds. Then we go on to Twitter, a little bit of Facebook, a little bit of LinkedIn, Gmail. You kind of go around that ever decreasing circle for about half an hour. That magic half an hour is the time to get stuff off your plate. And in fact, we need to kind of have a clear plate to have our lunch anyway. Uh, so we might as well do it then. And then down here, what you do is you just jot in the, the little reward, the little treat that you're going to give yourself for getting everything off your plate. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like a PDF copy of an A4 sized get off my plate template, then please just uh, let me know in the comments below. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much. There it is.